Hi, uh, my name is Danny Prasetyo, and I'm going to talk about Maxims. Uh, especially, I'm going to talk about Violated Maxim in the, in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Uh, this is a journal from so Sofa Priyanda Yanina Sution and Siti Aisyah Kinting. So, this study is concerned with an analysis of Greek cooperative principles which are constituted in a conversation. This research was conducted by using qualitative method. The analysis particularly discusses the violation of maxim in the utterances, which are described in four types. They are the maxim of quantity, maxim of quality, maxim of relation, and maxim of manner. The data of this study are the utterances of the main character in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. The utterances which contain violated maxim are identified and analyzed. The findings show that there are 51 utterances violation of maxim in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Based on the analysis, there are two reasons as the main backgrounds which prompt the main character named Peter Parker to violate the maxims. The reason are to keep the secret and change the topic. Okay, so for the research question, related on the background of the study, the research problem were formulated the fol as the following. What kind of maxims are violated in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie? Which maxim is dominantly violated in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie? Why is the dominant type violated in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie? And for the objective of the study, in relation to the problems, the objectives of the study are describing the violation of maxim that are used in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie, derivying the dominant violation of maxim that are used in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie, and the reasoning for the type of maxim dominantly violated in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Okay, Chris, 1975, further analyzes cooperative principle into four conversational maxims as the following. First, maxim of quantity. Propose the speaker to give his or her contribution sufficiently informative for the current purpose of the conversation and doesn't give more information than required. And the second maxim of quality is concerned with the third telling and has two parts. Do not say what you believe to be false and do not say that for which you lack adequate evidence. And the third is maxim of relation. Is the maxim which guides all the statements should be relevant to the conversation. The speaker should understand the topic that being discusses first to, re their, to, to relate their utterances to the topic so that the others will understand them easily. And the last is maxim of manner. Propose the speaker to be brief, be orderly, avoid obscurity of expression, and avoid ambiguity. Okay, so for the research methodology, this research was conducted by applying descriptive, descriptive qualitative design. Descriptive qualitative method is explore and create description, illustration or painting systematically, factual and accurate about the facts, characteristics, and the relationship between investigated phenomenon ascribed to social human problem. This method will be applied because it was intended to analyze and describe the utterances that violated Maxim in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie and during the data were sentences which contain violated Maxim. So for the technique for collecting data, so first, downloading the script of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie, second, watching the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie several times to know the, the whole story and recorrecting the script of the movie. And the third is identifying the main character's dialects which contain the violated, of the, the violated maxim. And the last is transcribing the main character's dialect which contain the violated maxim. For the technique for analyzing data, first identifying the kind of maxims which are used in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Second, classifying the violated maxim into four types of maxim by using Greece theory. And the last is counting the violated for maxim by using some percentage formula. So for the result and discussion, after downloading, watching, transcribing, identifying, and analyzing the, analyzing the data, it was found that there were 51 dialects in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. So that were 51 utterances violation of maxim, which were the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. Those are 20 utterances, 39.2% violation of maxim relation, and it can be concluded as the, main, uh, the dominant type violated. 
16 utterances, 31.5% for maximum of quantity as the second largest number violated and 8 utterances, 15.6% for the maximum of quality. The last, those were 7 utterances, 13.7 violation of maximum of manner. It shows that violation of manner was the lowest number in the in script, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. So for the conclusion and suggestion, based on the above findings of this study, it can be concluded that there were four types of violation maxims in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. The total number of maxims were violated in the script were 51 maxims. The results show that the dominant type of maxim which was violated in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie was the violated maxim of relation. Violated maxim of relation was the dominant in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie because the main character didn't give a relevant contribute to something being talked about, which was aimed at keeping his secret as the Spider-Man to other people. So that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much and see you next time. Bye-bye.